Welcome back to the Savvy Campers. Today we're going to go over that simple question of should travel trailer tires be balanced? And this will actually take um, into effect other type of trailers, whether you have a boat trailer, a horse trailer, or a, a util utility trailer. Let's get started. So to answer the question, quick and simple, yes, travel trailer tire, tires, TTT, travel trailer tires, do need to be balanced. So whenever you have a centrifugal force, like a tire rotating at high speeds, and you have an unbalance, that weight can cause um, some wear and tear that is extra than if you have a smooth running tire. So imagine a bit of weight here on your circular tire, and that way, kind of throwing things out of whack, that can make your tire hotter, it can uh, put more stress on your hub, your bearing, your axle, it can actually wobble your travel trailer and loosen some screws and nuts. So yes, you would want those travel trailer tires to be balanced. So what damage can an unbalanced travel trailer tire do? So when you have something that's bouncing around and moving, um, not like it's supposed to, it can actually cause a blowout. And a blowout is the number one thing you do not want to happen on a travel trailer, especially if you have a single axle. But even if you have a double axle, it's just a pain in the butt. It causes your trailer to be erratic and you have to pull over, change the tire, hopefully you have your spare that's aired up and a jack to do it with. And it's just something that's not fun on the way to your yearly camping trip. You don't want to deal with it. Also, along with a blowout, it can cause your bearing to overheat, it can mess with your hub, it can screw up your axle, it can wobble, wobble, wobble. So imagine when you're going down the road, basically it's like giving your trailer an earthquake every time you drive. But now you just add a little more vibration which can unpop rivets, it can loosen your screws, your nuts, your bolts. It can do all that extra damage that you're not wanting to happen on your travel trailer. So what is balancing a tire? So in the manufacturing process, you have your wheel and your tire, and they're never gonna be perfect. Your tire may have a little bit more rubber over here and a little bit less here. So when it's going down the road at a high speed, you really notice because those things become more pronounced, but at a low speed, it really doesn't matter. That's why some dealers say, oh, you don't need to do it, or if you're at a tire shop, they say, oh, you don't need to do it, but yes, on a little utility trailer, you're running lawnmowers around that's very lightweight, you probably don't need to do it because you won't notice. But on your travel trailer, that's six, 7,000 pounds running down the highway at 70 miles an hour, you will notice. How do you balance a travel trailer? Well, you buy your tires at a reputable dealer who will balance them. Typically, you pay a mountain balance fee anyway, so you might as well get them balanced. They put them on a machine, the machine goes around, it tells you where to put weight, you put weight on the opposite side, of the area where the weight from the manufacturing process is, and that's how it's done. It has to be a professional machine. You can't go eyeball it, you can't do it yourself, but it's fairly simple and cheap and easy to have a tire dealer do it for you. So some related questions, should I balance my single axle trailer? Yes, you should balance it. When you're buying tires, you might as well do it. It might be an extra $10 a tire to get them balanced, so why wouldn't you do it right and do it right the first time? Should my travel trailer tires be rotated? And the answer to that, if you have a single axle, it's tough because your tires may be directional so you can't actually rotate them around. If you have a dual axle, you could swap the front and the rear so if you notice some cupping or you're always doing a left turn, that's putting more wear on the rear tire or the front tire, yes, you can rotate them. The benefit may not be much, but at least they get worn just as evenly like they would on a car and it's not that hard to do. You jack it up, probably jack up both sides at the same with the same jack and just swap them or you could have your tire dealer do it. It's not a big deal and if you're rotating them every 5,000 miles that might be every two years or three years so it's really not a big hassle. Anyways, those should answer the quick question of should I balance a travel trailer, trailer tire? If you have any comments or thoughts, please make them below. Anyways, check out thesavvycampers.com and you can find this post by Googling the Savvy Campers, do I need to balance my travel trailer tire? And it'll pop you right there. And make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And we'll see you next time.